Another method of branching a pipe from a header is called a stab in. Let's have a closer look. The stab in is most commonly used as an alternative to the reducing T. The stab in is not an actual fitting that can be purchased, but rather a description of how the branch connection is fabricated. The following figure depicts the attachment of a stab in. Quite simply, a hole, either the size of the outside diameter or the inside diameter of the desired branch, is bored into the header pipe, and the branch is then stabbed onto it. To make a better fit, the connecting end of the branch pipe is cut or coped, as seen here, in such a way as to fit around the hole that has been bored into the header pipe. The two pipes are fitted together and then welded. Now, although the branch connection can be of the same pipe size as the header or smaller, it cannot be larger. Ok, let's now shift our attention to the drawing symbols of stabbings. The following figure depicts the single line and double line drawing symbols for a stabbing connection. Notice only that one weld dot is shown on the single line symbol and it is placed at the intersection of the header and the branch pipelines. Also, notice that the weld dot is not a complete circular shape. It is semicircular and drawn only on the branching side of the connection. Now, the following concept is quite important and needs your attention. Why is that? Because it provides guidelines as to the proximity to which stabbings can be placed adjacent to one another. Actually, the accepted welding practice is to allow a minimum of 3 inch between welds or one header pipe diameter, whichever is larger. To better illustrate this concept, let's have a look at the following piping configuration. Here we have two stabbings 16 inch and 14 inch on an 18 inch pipe. So, according to the best welding practice, we should maintain one pipe diameter as minimum clearance between the two welds. So, this means 18 inch is the minimum spacing between the two branches when attached to a common header. But this welding practice is also applicable to the placement of branch when welded near fitting, as is the case here between the 16 inch star bean and the 90 degree 18 inch elbow. Now, even though the use of the star bean is limited by the pressure, temperature, and fluid within a pipe, its use is becoming increasingly popular. Its chief advantage over the T is cost. Not only is a cost saving realized in the purchase of the fitting, but also in the installation. The star bean requires only one weld, as seen here, while the T requires three. Although the cost of boring the hole and coping the branch must be factored in, the overall expense of fabricating a stabbing is much less than the purchase and installation of a reducing tea. When internal conditions such as pressure or temperature of the fluid or external forces such as vibrations or pulsations are placed on a stabbing, special reinforcement may be necessary to prevent the branch from separating from the header. In this video, three reinforcing alternatives will be discussed. These are reinforcing pad, welding saddle, and OLEDs. Now, the primary intent of the reinforcing pad is to provide strength to the pipe header in the area where the branch hole has been cut 
resembling a round metal washer that has been bent to conform to the curvature of the pipe. The reinforcing pad is a ring cut from steel plate that has a hole in the center equal to the outside diameter of the branch connection, as depicted here. It is slipped onto the branch pipe before the branch pipe is welded to the header. Once the branch has been welded to the header, the reinforcing pad is slid down the branch to cover the weld connection. The reinforcing pad is then welded to both the branch and the header. Next, a welding saddle is a precision manufactured reinforcing pad. It has a short neck on the branch outlet that is designed to give additional support to the branch connection as depicted here. The following figure shows single line and double line drawing representations of reinforcing pads and welding saddles. The last stub in reinforcements is OLED. OLEDs, as in these examples, are purchased fittings that have one end shaped to the contour of the outside diameter of the pipe header and the other end manufactured to accept the type of end connections being used on the branch. OLEDs are manufactured for butt welded, socket welded and threaded connections. Weld OLEDs are manufactured for butt weld fittings. Sock OLEDs are made for socket weld fittings. And finally, thread OLEDs are available for screwed fittings. The following photograph shows how a thread OLED sits atop a header pipe before welding. The next figure provides drawing symbols for weld OLEDs, sock OLEDs, and thread OLEDs. Keep in mind, by design, all of these OLEDs form 90 degree branch connections to the header. So, for situations where a 45 degree connection may be needed, other OLEDs are available for installation. Specifically, they are the latter OLED and elbow LED. This last figure shows drawing symbols for these OLEDs.